Hey guys, welcome to the first weekly vlog of Vlogmas. So I am uploading every day of December and I've decided to do four weekly vlogs uh, throughout Vlogmas. So this is vlog number one. Today is December 1st and it's actually my birthday today. So I took the day off work and um, we're just hanging out. Nathan made me crepes this morning. Delicious. It is about one o'clock now so we're getting kind of a slow start today but we're about to go for a walk in one of our local parks so I thought I would do a quick like birthday get ready with me here um, probably just gonna keep it pretty simple also uh, I don't think I've intro introduced you guys formally to my new foster cat this is Leia she is about two years old and she is just sweet as can be we're in my like office slash filming room right now and this is her hotel room so hi Leia Leia hi are you so sweet maybe able to tell she's missing some hair on like her belly and her back legs and that is due to actually stress grooming which um, we're hoping she kind of stops doing now that she's like in a foster home she definitely does have some anxiety and um, like the first couple days I had her she just kind of stayed in her kennel and just like hid, didn't want to come out, didn't really want to interact with us. Very hissy, but she's come such a long way. She's really warmed up to us and now she'll just like, if I'm working at my desk in here, she'll just be on my lap. So sweet. Hi Muffin. Hi. It's got the biggest green eyes, but she's fluffy and adorable. And yeah, you can see her hair loss there. But hopefully we can find you a forever home. You think we can do that? I think we can. Oh, before I forget, also I wanted to let you guys know that there will be a portion of this vlog that is sponsored by Seabay Reusable Makeup Wipes. So um, that'll be, I think, later on in the vlog, but I did want to just give you a heads up now so that you're not like caught off guard by that. Probably not going to talk a whole lot during this little get ready with me. I'll probably just kind of show what I'm using and speed through it with some music. look that I did it's quite simple honestly if I didn't feel the need to like experiment with my makeup every day um, this is probably what I would wear every single day um, I feel like just putting one light shimmery shade all over your lid and nothing else is so underrated like why don't we do that more often why do we always have to pile like 10 different colors in our crease I ended up just using the shade vibes which is that one right there all over my lid it's just like this light shimmery purple Wow, so pretty. This is my one month one palette for December. It also happens to be my favorite palette at the moment. This is the first time I've used it this month. Um, and I let's just say I'm excited to keep using it all month long. And then on my lips, I'm wearing the Bite Yay Sayer Gloss in Sugar Drizzle, which is just a clear gloss with a little bit of kind of gold shimmer to it. So pretty. I kind of just decided to use like all of my favorite products today. I mean, this isn't necessarily my favorite lip product, but it is one of my favorite glosses and um, kind of took a little bit of a break from my Project Pan items. I still used a couple of them. Like, I still used my Jordana pencil liner and my Wet n Wild blush, which I love. But other than that, like, I decided to use my Oma contour stick because I just love this one. And yeah, I just kind of wanted to use a bunch of my favorites for my birthday. And this is a very 
me kind of look, I think. Lay is so cute. So that's my birthday makeup. I think we're gonna go uh, out walking now. It's actually quite chilly today, hence the turtleneck. There was a slight chance of snow like last night into this morning. It didn't snow, at least not that I saw, um, which is a bummer. I, that would have been like the best birthday present ever to wake up to like snow all over the ground. That like never happens here, so. Anyway, a girl can dream. But it is nice and chilly and I, I actually love cold weather. I would love to live in a place where it actually snows. Maybe not like constantly, but I wouldn't mind living somewhere where it snows like a good amount in the winter. I think I would really enjoy that. Anyway, uh, I figured I'd also go ahead and show you guys how I tally my project pan usage. So I just keep this little notebook. Um, mainly it's for keeping track of project pans, but I also put like video notes in there. So what did I use today? I used rosé champagne. I used the healthy powder. I did use, oh, hang on a second. I need to put one for each shade in there. I used the crease shade today. So that's the only shade I used from there. Um, I used the Jordana primer and I used the Jordana pencil liner. So that's that. And then I also need to tally, keeping track of my stoned vibes use for my one month one palette. So my goal I wrote is to use five each shade five times. Today I just used Good Karma and Vibes. And that's it. I like to keep track of each look that I do also. Um, so I can reference back to it when I share those looks with you guys at the end of the month. So I'm putting the date so I can remember. I'll take a picture of it and that way I'll be able to remember which look was which. And that is that. We're at the beach. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Really? Yeah, this is. It looks like uh, aerial shots of. It does. Rivers. We are out at the park. It's cold. It is cold. Actually, quite cold. Surprisingly cold. cold. It's the coldest day we've had this year. Probably because we're close to water. Yeah. We're close to <laughs> the ocean. We're close to the ocean. Not really. Alright, so I figured I would show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. I've been keeping it pretty simple lately. Usually I only use like four products at night. I ran out of my um, BHA liquid and so I, I ordered a new one during the Black Friday sale. Still waiting for it to come though. So anyway, my skincare routine has been kind of abbreviated lately. But I did want to go ahead and thank today's sponsor. So this portion of the video is sponsored by Seabay and they are a very small company that specializes in reusable makeup wipes. So I have their combo pack which comes with a couple of different size makeup removing wipes. It comes with three larger face wipes that are about this size. Um, mine are clean, but they're stained because I've been using them. And seven uh, smaller eye wipes. They're actually made of hemp cotton. I know a lot of people are concerned with microfibers in a lot of the reusable makeup remover cloths that are out there. A lot of them are made with micro microfibers that um, apparently can like come off in the washing machine and end up in the water supply. So with these, it's a biodegradable natural fiber, so you don't have to worry about that, which I thought was really cool. Um, so it comes with those, and then it also comes with a little laundry bag for the little guys. And they come packaged in this cute little like travel pouch that you can totally reuse for traveling or just for your everyday makeup bag, whatever it is. So I'm really excited to be working with this brand. They are, like I said, a very small business. I know a lot of people are trying to support more small businesses 
especially nowadays. So these would make a great gift idea or if you're just in the market for some of these for yourself. I know lately a lot of people have been trying to move away from disposable makeup wipes. So if you are looking for an alternative to those, these would be a great place to look. So I will show you how I use them. There's a lot of different ways you could use them. Um, if you like to use just like a liquid makeup remover, you could just use this like you would a regular cotton round and just kind of put some of that makeup remover on there or micellar water, whatever it is and just use it the same way that you would use a disposable cotton round. I actually do the double cleanse method where I use uh, like an oil-based cleansing balm to remove my makeup and sunscreen, and then I go in with a regular cleanser. So I'll show how I do that. The cleansing balm that I have now is the Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil Balm. I honestly am not loving this one. It doesn't really like emulsify quite as well as the Derma E cleansing balm did that I used to have. And I find that with my like mascara and eyeliner that I like to wear, it doesn't fully remove those things. So these Seabay wipes have actually been coming in handy to just kind of get rid of that excess mascara that's left behind. I'll sh you'll see in a minute, but I feel like they just almost like erase my like leftover mascara and eyeliner. It's kind of crazy. So anyway, just going in with this Burt's Bees cleansing balm. Kind of smells like Christmas trees. <laughs> it's definitely not fragrance free, which is fine with me because it's getting washed off anyway. I like to rinse as much of it away as I can with just water so that I'm not rubbing and tugging at my face too much. So I just rinsed away a lot of my makeup, but you can still see there's like a lot of mascara kind of smudged underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna take one of these. I think I'm gonna use just a smaller one today and I actually get this wet. And I will just kind of use it like I would a regular cotton round. And I swear, I swear it just completely erases everything so easily. Like I don't have to rub back and forth and tug too much. And then I'll just get the other side. And I'm good. I mean, my eyes are all red because I had cleansing balm like in them but it does a really good job and so these have just come in really handy for me when I switched to cleansing balm I was hoping I wouldn't need anything like this but sometimes it is nice to just kind of have something to really ensure that you're getting all that makeup off there's that did a pretty good job and so now what I'll do is I'll rinse this and then I will put it into um, either this bag or I have a few of these like mesh bags and save it in there for laundry day. And then they just wash in the washing machine and you are supposed to lay them like flat to dry or I'll just lay them out on my little drying rack that I have. And they say that you can reuse these up to 1000 times. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. Right now I'm just using the Derma E Acne Deep Pore Cleansing Wash. I actually feel like my skin likes this cleanser a lot. I don't like the strong tea tree oil smell that kind of gets on my nerves but I feel like it actually helps uh sort of just like dry out my acne I've been breaking out a lot lately so so I think tonight is going to be a Paula's Choice retinol night this is their super antioxidant concentrate serum with retinol I don't know what percentage the retinol in here is I swear I remember reading that it was like point something like it's a pretty low concentration, but now whenever I try to look, I cannot find that information anywhere. So I don't actually know. I do know that I had to kind of work my way up to this one because for a little while it was kind of drying out my skin, but now I feel like my skin has finally kind of gotten used to it. And then I'm also gonna use the Acure Radically Rejuvenating Whipped Night Cream. This is a really, really nice thick night cream. I don't so much agree with the whipped description, almost like balmy in a way great if you have really dry skin. Honestly, my skin has not been as dry lately. And then my eye cream, I'm just using the Derma E anti-wrinkle eye cream. This is a nice eye cream. I don't actually know if it's making a difference, to be honest. I feel like it's so hard to tell with eye creams if they're doing anything. I feel like they're almost more of just like a preventative measure and you just kind of hope that maybe they're slowing down the aging, but it's hard to tell. It's not like they're gonna reverse any kind of fine lines or anything. I don't know, has anybody found an eye cream that they actually feel like makes a huge difference? I would love to know because I have yet to find one, but this one is fine, I'm using it. It, it apparently has retinol in it. I don't know how stable it is. I don't know what percentage it is. I don't, I don't know, retinol is confusing to me. It's not like a clinical retinol, so who knows if it's actually doing anything. It's just nice and kind of lightweight, sinks in quickly. No complaints. I just would like to know 
what, if anything, it's doing. And that is pretty much it. I've actually also been trying out these um, little like facial tools from Mount Lai. That, uh, I got these in PR through Octoly and I've just been trying them out, but uh, I have, this is their Rose Quartz face roller and also their Gua Sha tool. They feel really nice. I don't know much about the science behind this. I don't know if it's actually proven to make a difference, but I'm gonna use the Gua Sha tool tonight just because it feels amazing. It's almost like a little massage for your face. I always clean it beforehand just in case there's any germs on there. I guess you're supposed to start up here and you're supposed to work in out outward motions. It's almost just like a little self-care thing. Like I said, I don't actually know if it if it does anything, but it feels good. And then there's this little notch down here for like the jaw. This would be great if you had like a jaw ache or something to kind of massage that area. So there's that, and then I also have the roller, which I like for if you're like applying a facial oil or really just an eye cream, I think this would be nice. You're also supposed to do it kind of in outward motions like that. This feels so nice and cooling. Um, if you really want some like de-puffing action, you could like put this in the refrigerator beforehand. Mine's actually really cool <laughs> right now as it is. So anyway, that is my evening skincare. Hope you enjoyed it. All the info about those Seabay Reusable wipes will be linked down below in case you want to check them out. Again, great gift idea, great way to support a small business these days. So uh, I'm going to go chill out because it is almost 10 o'clock. Hi, Heidi. Oh my, Hi. she's ready. She's hyper. So we got an advent calendar for cats from our neighborhood Aldi. <laughs> And we're gonna open it up. It's actually December 2nd and we forgot to open it yesterday. I was too busy turning 26 yesterday to remember. <laughs> the first one is up here. They're all kind of out of order, which is fun. That makes it more exciting. So apparently these are salmon and sweet potato. I don't know if they're like all different or if they're all the same, but I guess we'll find out. All right. Oh, okay. It's a little package of a few. Good. So we'll have flavor cubes. <laughs> some for all the cats, all three of them. Hi. <laughs> all right. So I guess yeah. That's the first one. Do you want to do the honor? Yes. She doesn't. She doesn't automatically know their treats like the freeze-dried yeah. chicken bag. Oh, she'll learn. Hi. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. What is that, Heidi? Oh yeah, do you want to sit? Do you want to show everyone you can show sit? Show everyone your, your tricks? Sit. Ooh, good Wow, girl. good She doesn't girl. even know what the treat is. I hope she's not disappointed. It's hard to beat freeze-dried raw chicken. Tala knows what to do. Tala doesn't like being told to sit, so she just sits automatically. Yeah, she, she's like, you don't have to tell me, I'll just do it. Good job! Is she... Did she... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she ate it. Did you eat it? No, no. I think it's right there. <laughs> she doesn't like you it. You don't like it? <laughs> She's like, I, I want. I thought it was gonna be freeze dried like, chicken. She's like, Mom, I'm ready for freeze dried chicken. I did what, I did what you asked. Oh no. Oh, okay. is she gonna yeah, try give now? Give it a try. Sometimes she has to like try a few times. It doesn't look super easy to chew. No, it looks. Tala, Tala's, Tala's having, a having time trouble with it. with it. She doesn't know what to do. Oh. Is it a treat? Is it a toy? I don't know, honestly. Oh, okay. Heidi has broken hers like. in half. It kind of looks like. No. You don't like it. They don't. <laughs> well, I hope Leia likes it. <laughs> They're confused. They're All like, right. Wait a minute. This is this is not the treat that we're used to. All right, zero for one so far. Here. <laughs> They're still trying. Well, I love your spirit, girls. <laughs> any progress here? Did you make any progress? Did, oh, I don't know. Do you see? I don't see it. Do you see a treat? I don't. You, she didn't want this one, though? Heidi? You can try this one again. Did you do it? You ate it? I think she did. Good girl. Well, you got 25 more days of those, so you better, <laughs> better learn to like them. What do you think? She's like, what? 
they're all they're all determined to eat it they are yeah which i do think is interesting. yeah they don't let it go maybe like by the end they'll be obsessed with these treats maybe it's an acquired taste she's like i don't know i guess i'll keep trying Did she eat it? Oh. You did. Wow. All right. Did you chew it or did you just swallow? Well. All right. That's. In that's celebration weird. for finishing your treat, have another one. It's like, whoa, I could get used to this. Ah, this one also proves to be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, maybe, it, maybe Despite it's... having eaten one just seconds before. <laughs> did it, was it hard to break in half? Not at all. Weird. Why do they have such a hard time chewing it? It's like they put it in their mouth and they're just like, <laughs> Ooh, oh, 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 no, oh. oh. Giving up? Oh, you're giving up. Like, I'm ready for some attention, please. So I guess these are all the same treat then. I guess. That's kind of disappointing. You'd think it would be like slightly different each time. Yes, so. Wow, all right, well, we just have a lot of We these. just have a lot of the same, the same treat. So they're just going to have to get used to having the same thing every day, I guess, guys. Well, we promised double treats, Too so. bad it's not freeze-dried chicken. <laughs> it's not freeze-dried chicken tonight. And I think we're all sad to hear that. But you are sitting so beautifully. So go Tala, do you want to come sit? Or are you bored of this? Tala? Tala? <gasps> oh, no, she's coming back. Heidi's bored. Heidi's, oh, didn't even want to try. Do you want one? You want to sit? He's like, okay, wait, what is she doing? <laughs> oh, it's the same thing. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. Maybe we'll eat these eventually when we get hungry for a midnight snack, huh? <laughs> Say goodbye for now, Heidi. Hey, guys. So I just wanted to pop on here because I feel like I haven't really talked in a while in this vlog. I've been filming clips here and there, but I just wanted to touch base and check it and all those things. We have been doing some Christmas decorating. We actually put up the tree like the week before Thanksgiving. Um, and I just wanted to kind of like assess all the things that I had. And I did film a little bit of that like kind of preliminary decorating. So um, those clips, I guess I can probably insert here. <laughs> up. I wanted to go ahead and get out all of the Christmas decor that I have. Last year when I moved into this apartment I bought a bunch of Christmas decor after Christmas. So that's what most of this is including the tree. I think I'm pretty much good ornament wise. Um, all I need is a tree skirt and something to go on top of the tree. And then this right here is pretty much the extent of everything else that I have so it's really not a ton. I have this little light up house that I actually got from Aldi a few days ago. Really cute. They had black, silver, and red. So I just got the black. Then I have this little mini tree. Actually all of these little trees I got for free from somebody in the buy nothing group. So this needs lights. It had lights on it but they didn't work. They seemed super old so I need to get like a little string of lights for this. Um, and then I have these little cone shaped trees. This one has lights actually just stuffed in it, just a regular string of lights. So I could get another string to go in here and then this one is just a plain white one. Honestly, it looks like it's seen better days, but 
I can still find a place for this one. Um, so I'm thinking I may use these cone shaped ones for my filming background. And then I might put this one on the kitchen counter. Oh, and then I also have a wreath that I need to put up. This is the wreath that I have. I got this at Aldi as well. Aldi has some really cute Christmas stuff, by the way. This was actually only like $15 and wreaths can get so expensive. Now it is definitely kind of like cheaply made. It's all just kind of attached to this sort of like styrofoam ring, but it's so pretty and you know, it's not like wreaths really get beat up. I'm in an apartment building, so my door isn't even outdoors. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up right now. They also had like a red and white one, but I really like just the black and white. It looks super pretty and just kind of classy. Oh, and then I almost forgot that I have this little tree as well. I actually just bought this earlier today at Target. This was in like the dollar spot. It's not really the dollar spot anymore, but this was $3, so that's cute. Um, this might go either in my filming background or just somewhere around. And yeah, I felt like they had a few different styles and out of all the ones they had, this one actually looked very realistic compared to the others. So I like that.